Qubis Atomizer User Guide Qubis Genetics' latest product adopts innovative and leak-resistant carb design, whose coil replacement and juice fill can be achieved by removing this top section from the cup. Innovative and leak-resistant carb design Newly added SS316 and Clapton coil head Invisible top airflow control Detachable and washable spare parts and it supports most power suppliers in the market. Firstly, let's take a look at the following parts of Cubis. They are Cubis mouthpiece, mouthpiece base, Cubis vent pipe, Cubis vent ring, adjustment part, atomizer tube, atomizer cap, and three kinds of atomizer heads. BFSS316 0.5 ohm BF SS316 1 ohm and BF Clapton 1.5 ohm. Now, let's get started. 1. Screw the Cubis vent pipe onto the mouthpiece base along the clockwise. 2. Screw the Cubis vent ring onto the atomizer base along the clockwise. 3. Screw both parts together and we get a ventilation part. Four, drape a few around five drops of e juice to the BFSS316 0.5 ohm head before it's first used to avoid dry burn. Please pay attention here. When BFSS316 1 ohm and the BF Clapton 1.5 ohm heads are applied, the e juice should be dropped into the middle hole because of different design. 5. Screw the atomizer head to the ventilation part. 6. Inject or pour the e juice into the atomizer tube. Please don't overfill beyond the max mark to avoid overflow when resembled. 7. Screw up the atomizer tube. Now, the whole Cubis atomizer is ready to use. Please sleep a few times in power of condition with airflow widely open to avoid dry burn. Compatible with most of power suppliers, Cubis provides a perfect flavor and a more precise vaping experience.